Hey hello there guys, Proxens here, and uh, welcome back to another episode of the Pixelmon Johto server. So, in the last episode... Ah man, in the last episode, we realized we needed to get Surf from the previous town. I personally thought that we would get it later in the game, but nope. We gotta go back right now and actually get Surf. So, we're just running back over here. Let me actually really quickly like minimize the menu there of the Pokemon. And let's run over to the town, you know? Gotta run over to the town and get some surf from wherever we need to get it. Where do we get surf from again? I'm pretty sure it's the Kimono Girls. I think. They should be in this building, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the, yeah, the dance theater. Okay. We're in the right place. So now do we just fight everybody or who do we talk to? Somebody here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, click after beating all five of the kimono girls. Okay, I guess we fight this person first. This Team Rocket grunt. Okay, Bubble Beam should do the trick on the coughing here. It actually didn't. I am very, very surprised that it didn't take it down. I was really expecting it to take it down, like, pretty easily. So, Metal Sound, don't really know that that's a great move, so... Let's start fighting the kimono girls, you know? We need to get Surf. Can can Polyrath please go? Polyrath. Polyrath, please. Polyrath. Ah, man. I, I sure love when the server just lags out and doesn't let you throw your Pokeball out when you're trying to fight a trainer. It's always, it's always great. It is always spectacular. But while we wait here for a second, let's think about what our strategy is going into this battle. So, basically, wait, what are you saying? This trainer can only be battled once a day? I've never fought them. There we go. Dang. I was going to say, what's our strategy going into this battle? I don't really have one. Let's just use a submission and hope it does enough damage. Okay. We got the first token. Oh, wait. I thought for a second that they weren't actually going to measure if you actually fought them or anything like that, and I thought you were just going to get, like, easy surf there. But, we're good. It actually, like, finds out if you did fight the trainers. So, let's use another submission. It should do the trick to take it down to zero. Yep, it did. And we got our second token. Let me really quickly heal up my Pokemon. Now, we're taking on a Jolteon. Submission should do the trick again. The only one I'm really worried about is actually Espeon, which I believe is the last one we're going to fight in the order we are currently going. So once we get to that one, we're probably going to have a little bit of trouble, but we can probably go through it. All right. As long as we use Bubble Beam or some other move, because fighting against Psychic, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. So... I don't really need faint, so I'm going to replace it. There we go. So here's Espeon. Probably should have healed up. Probably would have been a smart idea. But it's it's perfectly fine, you know? It is perfectly fine. So I'm going to use Submission. Ooh. Didn't do enough damage. All right. I'm going to go to Gloom. Gloom should be able to do the trick here. Ooh, this isn't good. Our Pokemon are substantially underleveled. Okay. We were lucky that we were able to win, but they are extremely underleveled. Way too underleveled. Alright. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. Like, what what can we do? We've got to train up all of our Pokemon up to, like, at least 35 before we take on the next gym. So, who knows what we'll do. But, let me, like, right-click this here. Click after... Oh, there we go. Uh, you don't have the required item. Is this not gonna work? Is, is this not gonna work? Okay, you want times five. Is, is, is it not gonna work? I have five of them. What the heck? Finally, dang! That took way too long. What the heck? 
Okay then, so now let's run all the way back. Yup, this is gonna be great. So I'm actually going to put an XP share on you. So we need to get our entire team up to 35. I'll have to use Skarmory in some way, shape, or form, and if I actually, I'll just keep the lucky egg on me, and that way, like, two Pokemon will have the XP share. Once Skarmory gets the level, we'll switch it over to another one. So we're probably going to be training for a while. Like, from the looks of it, we are going to be training because we do need to in order to be at a better level in order to take on the gym. So, that sucks. But then again, we're going to have to train anyways, and right now we are substantially underleveled, like extremely underleveled. So, it's a good idea that we are, you know, training, you know? It's a good idea. So, I'm trying to catch this Pokemon here so I can quickly wonder trade a Pokemon. Sadly, I don't have the ability to use any moves on it because we would basically destroy it in one shot. So, we've just got to hope that this Premier Ball is able to catch it. One wiggle. Two wiggle. Three wiggle. Gosh darn it. It broke free. Ah, man. I wish I could see the Pokeball. That way I'd know how many, like, wiggles it had. I'm just... I'm going off assumption here. Okay, one wiggle, two wiggle, three wiggle, and it got caught. Nice. Nice. There we go. So I'm actually going to run really, really quickly over to here and grab that spinner rack and trade it off through Wonder Trade. Hopefully, we get a decent Pokemon. Alrighty, so we're back. I kind of crashed there. I read through the like little crash log and all that and I genuinely have no idea why we just crashed so I don't know I don't know but you know let's just let's just continue through here you know just fight more Pokemon continue training up our Pokemon and we'll be all right hopefully hopefully we don't crash again for some really really random reason Okay, come on, Polyrath. Just use submission and win the fight. Win the fight. Uh, did we win? Nope, you got another Pokemon, really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. At least it's Eradicate, so it's a pretty easy Pokemon to defeat. Uh, quick P heal. There we go. I'm actually going to run by these trainers because I don't really want to fight any of them. Skarmory is now at the right level, so I can switch that over to Gloom. Nice, nice, alright, so now we have to use Surf and get over to the other town in order to A, defeat the gym leader there, and B, uh, get the medicine, right? Yeah, that's what we've got to do. I think we can also get a gift Pokemon, but based on our current levels, unless that one over there is around 35, I don't think I'll take it. It's a shuckle. But if it's not like 35, since our like since our team right now is decently above 25, because that's what normally it's like. If it's not like adjusted, then we'll probably never use it if we even get it. So let's do that. What? What? Really? R really? I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just not ideal. I'd much rather just follow this thing here and do the parkour. Makes it a lot easier if you're not, like, in the water. Gosh, darn it. I, I just can't believe that. I just can't believe that. That we have to, like, swim the entirety of the ocean. Well, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. I, I wish this thing here was, um, like, not blocked like it currently is. Because it'd make it a heck of a lot easier to traverse this area here. So we should be on the right path. Right. Yep. Sandwood is right over here. I like how all these trainers have, like, floating slabs in the water. 
Like, there's no other way to make the trainer, like, stay there, but it's a very interesting way to do it. They could have used ice and made it blend in more, but, you know, slabs works, too. Slabs works, too. Okay, so here we are in a cyan wood. Now let's go over to here and try to talk to somebody about thingies and that stuff. Hi there. Squirtle, nice to meet you. Okay, so I think the medicine building is either over there or over here. I'm pretty sure this is actually uh, the one who actually is meant to give us the Pokemon, but I guess we don't get it. So that's fine, you know? We, we didn't really need it unless it was a better level, but hi there, shopkeeper. I would like to purchase the thing. The secret potion, there we go. Thank you. Thank you for the secret potion. So, we can get fly? Nice! I'm pretty sure we've gotta defeat the gym leader first though. Yeah, like there's some weird spooky barrier here. That's like preventing us from getting near that thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to defeat the gym leader first and then we'll have the ability to get fly, so... You know what? You know what? What is this? Uh, okay, click once you've beaten the gym. So that's how we get it, I'm pretty sure. Now, what I'm going to do is actually put all this stuff here. Grab the fog badge. And we're basically going to, like, YOLO the gym. Just, just YOLO the gym. So here we go. Can I actually, like, challenge him from over here? I feel like I should be able to. Actually, I feel like that's a bit, like... A Bit breaking of the system so I'm not gonna do that I don't I don't want to break the rules you know <laughs> gonna follow the path so I guess we'll just fight these trainers here then and only then will we like try to fight the gym leader <gasps> ice beam finally we can replace mist okay quickly do a quick pokey heal there we are and where the heck are we supposed to go now okay that's where I think it just teleports us over to like a room or something so let me go around him there we are so you have a much shop I'll just fight you okay just fight him come on please please just defeat him in the fight just use submission and oh man if only submission did more damage and now what I'm realizing is that we are very, very underleveled. Because this gym leader is going to have level 40s. And... That... That isn't good. That isn't good for us. Ah, oh, man. Because, like... Level 40s. We've barely got a level 48 Polyrath here. So... I, I don't think we have that great of chances. I really don't. Okay. Did you did you win or lose? Not sure. But here we go. Submission. Okay. It did half health. That's nice to see. If we use another one, it's going to do another half health. Your next Pokemon is Polyrath. It's level 43. My Polyrath is a little bit more powerful, but yours has the ability to put me to sleep. So what I'm going to hope is that you aren't actually able to take me down while I'm asleep and that I wake up and use another submission on you because that is going to be amazing. Okay, we can resist two more hits from him and then we're done. So we can resist that one and the next one, if he doesn't wake up, we're done for in the fight. There we go. No, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we didn't take him down. We didn't take him down. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. We can easily send in Gloom and use Mega Drain. Right? Yeah, there we go. Nice job. So, we got the gym badge and we got ATM. So, let's go out of the gym now and head over to the Pokemon Center real quick. But first, let me do this. Okay, thank you for Fly. Thank you so much for the fly. I'm going to actually go in the Poké Center and toss some of my items in there. Like the, the Ender Chest over here. Oh man, really? Really? Um, 
there should be like is there a PV system or vault slash bank no none of the above darn it <laughs> darn it all right so I don't really need this I don't really need that 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 nope nope okay let's start tossing out stuff we don't need so don't need that 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 don't need you don't need you I could keep the evil light it might be useful and I don't need any of the apricorns I definitely don't need the revive as of now I do not need attract because that won't be useful in the future nor do I need mud slap so is there anything in there that I regret throwing in um what is that item oh man oh wait that's the the, the blue X defend or whatever okay there's an item in there that's sparkling that's the starter book okay I'm just like I'm like really confused like some of these items are doing this what does it mean what does it mean ah man okay so there we go I've got HM fly HM surf HM rock smash and I'm gonna put all of this here lucky egg down there and we're good so I'm actually gonna end off this episode here in the next episode we're gonna be able to go back over to the other town I believe it's called Olivine if I'm not mistaken so yeah thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and see you all next time bye bye everybody